known as the most powerful weapon in the world. Let's explore the history and might of the USS Texas. BB-35 USS Texas, or simply the Battleship Texas, is an ever-evolving, living, breathing culmination of firsts, lasts, onlys, and willbes. Commissioned on March 12, 1914, she is a New York-class dreadnought. She was the first U.S. battleship to mount anti-aircraft gunnery and the first to control her firepower with directors and rangekeeper analog computers to more quickly and accurately acquire and fire at targets. Using an attachment to her main guns, she was the first American battleship to launch an aircraft. Later in World War II, a more sophisticated catapult was used. She was one of the first ships to install radar and the armed guard on board the SS Mongolia fired the first American shots of World War I. That gun crew was trained on the USS Texas. Her lists of firsts is extensive. She's also the first museum ship and first battleship declared a national historic landmark. But to keep this video under 12 hours long, we'll keep moving along. She is the last remaining capital ship to have served in both World War I and World War II and the only remaining World War I era dreadnought battleship. She is also the only U.S. warship to serve in all wartime theaters, including Europe, North Africa, and the Pacific at Iwo Jima and Okinawa. She was hit for the first and last time at the Battle of Cherbourg when a 240mm land-based German artillery shell struck the conning tower and detonated, tearing through the pilot house above, killing the helmsman, Kristen Norman Christensen, the only crewman to ever die in combat aboard the Texas. Another shell hit the living quarters but did not explode. It was diffused and kept as a mascot. She is currently closed for extensive repairs and restoration, so her list of will-bees is still being written. But before we move on to explore the ship herself, I will mention that you can follow her restoration progress at BattleshipTexas.org and on her Battleship Texas YouTube channel. All links are of course included in this video description. Firepower she has it. She was equipped with a main battery of 10 14-inch guns, the largest floating rifled guns at the time. Her second battery consisted of up to 21 5-inch guns, and she mounted four 21-inch torpedo tubes in addition to a large bevy of 3-inch multi-purpose anti-aircraft guns as well as half-inch anti-aircraft guns. A complement of then unrivaled firepower that would serve her well in the North Sea during World War I, then again in World War II as she played a quote, indispensable role in the D-Day Allied invasion of Normandy, providing critical fire support for troops storming Omaha Beach and nearby Point du Hoc. She displaces almost 32,000 tons of water. She's over 565 feet long, over 106 feet wide, and her keel reaches over 30 feet under the surface. Her main belt of armor is 12 inches thick, the turret armor is 14 inches thick, and the conning tower has armor 12 inches thick. Her maximum speed was almost 20 knots. She could cruise over 15,000 nautical miles at 10 knots, and that's about from here here to Southeast Asia. She is a steam-powered ship converted in the 1920s from coal to fuel oil among a laundry list of other modernizations taking two years to complete, during which time she also removed her torpedo tubes and added defensive torpedo blisters. Exploring the interior of the ship is an exercise of respect, admiration, and awe. We respect the lives she's lost, the lives she's taken, and the lives she's saved. 
We admire the skill and dedication of the crew to navigate and operate the Texas in often claustrophobic surroundings for up to 50 days in a row of battle conditions. And we are in awe of her graceful might that helps save the world twice. If I can make a bold statement, it's that it would be disrespectful to passively consider the battleship Texas as merely a collection of metal, concrete, wood, and other lifeless materials. She is a breathing soul. More life has occurred within these confines than in some major cities. She has therefore been imbued with a living spirit, a spirit wholeheartedly ready to charge full steam ahead, not into her final chapter, but her next and the next after that. For her time, she was the most powerful weapon in the world. In ours, she will always be one of the most meaningful ambassadors of history and courage the world will ever know. this video it would help us out immensely to earn a click of the like button and your consideration of subscribing and sharing with your friends please share your own memories or interesting facts about the texas below in the comments section as mentioned earlier you can find almost endless information about the battleship texas at battleshiptexas.org 